Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be reviewing DAD. Um, it's an up and coming project and basically what they're trying to achieve is a decentralized advertising blockchain which aims to empower users. Now the most interesting thing that I found right off the get go for this project is that it's built on Ontology. Now Ontology is a new generation public blockchain with a distributed trust collaboration platform. So if you aren't aware of Ontology, you're welcome to go and check that out. Uh, it's been doing quite well and it actually has its mainnet release later this month on 30th of June. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, Ontology is a great project and having this one built on top of it should give it some good boost and help it get into this market. So basically through smart contracts and token economy, Dad wants to achieve data openness with transaction transparency and user revenue sharing. They aim to improve ad quality, delivery efficiency, and build a new generation of blockchain advertising systems by reshaping the ad industry as we know it today. Now they have the white paper and the GitHub listed here, which I will come back to, but one thing I did find on the GitHub checking it out, there isn't actually any public repositories yet, so you can't actually access any coding there. Uh, we will move down here, so basically they give you a quick overview of the problems right now. So obviously advertising fraud is a big one. Um, there are quite a few different cryptos out there starting to focus on the decentralized advertising space. Um, you guys know I've talked about ADEX in the past. That's one of my favorites, but there are others as well. So what they want to do is cut out that middle layer, alleviate the fake traffic and clicks um, with 56% of that advertising budget being lost to bots, uh, low quality ads and privacy leaks as well. So they're the main focuses and the solutions that Dad will be implementing to overcome those is an efficient advertisement delivery algorithm which uses big data and AI, a powerful anti-fraud mechanism, a distributed ledger on the blockchain, and data openness by integrating multiple data sources and sharing data with authorization, digital identity and authentication methods, token economy and incentives, and credit mechanism and distributed democracy as well. So I'll explain that a little bit more shortly. Now in terms of the technology, it can be broken down into a few different layers here, beginning with the application layer. So this is basically a layout of the DAP ecosystem, which is made up of the advertiser system, the publisher, and the BI platform. So through those big data analysis and machine learning, Dad will continuously create value for advertisers, users, and distributors. The application framework layer consists of your SDK and APIs, um, statistics and computation, and obviously those anti-fraud and metrics and measurement as well there. The core protocol layer being made up here of the distributed trust framework, which incorporates identity, authorization, behavioral events, and distributed identity, and obviously your data storage, rewards, and network communication there for full transparency through smart contracts. The distributed ledger layer um, is pretty interesting here because it's compatible with multiple blockchains using the IPFS distributed file storage system. So Ontology and Neo will be in there as well, and there will be some interaction between those projects. Now in terms of partners, I was pretty impressed here as well. Uh, they got Neo and Ontology on board, obviously, but some other big ones including Investing.com, CoinMarketCap, CoinGecko, NewsBitcoin, uh, Coindesk, etc. So some pretty big partners in there, which I was happy to see. Um, I did check out their social media channels and I was a little bit confused here because the Telegram isn't a Telegram group and that username there actually doesn't exist when you try to search for it. The Facebook page, there's pretty much nothing happening there. Uh, the Twitter account doesn't exist either, and on LinkedIn there's nothing really here under company details. So I was a bit confused there with the social media. Maybe it's still early stages and they just haven't got to developing that just yet. But anyway, stay tuned for that. So we will move now into the white paper and see if we can find some key information on the technology behind DAD and basically what they're trying to achieve and what they're trying to do different. So if you look at the contents here, they basically give you an overview of the online digital advertising markets, some of the issues here, and obviously go into a lot of detail on the DAD solution itself, the methodology in DAD, the ad system architecture, which is made up of quite a lot of information, 
the token distribution, budget allocation, roadmap, team, etc. So we will head back up and we will jump straight into the DAD solutions. So the thing they promote the most here is this highly efficient ad delivery algorithm. So besides the big data algorithms using traditional online advertising, Blockchain technology brings a new space for improvement, for distributing efficiency optimization, and that's incentivized by a token economy, and users can share personal, behavioral, and preference data to help improve the data quality. Now, under the premise of privacy being protected, data sharing helps improve the accuracy of the ad delivery, and these systems combine the data from the SDK shared by users and shared on the blockchain to compute the optimal delivery plan with the highest ROI. Now this is quite a lot of detail to cover guys, so I do recommend coming and checking out some of this technology in your own time, but they do cover quite a lot here on what they're doing and the different features of everything, so it does look pretty good. Like I said, it is pretty lengthy. There's a lot of wording here, a lot to get through, but if you are interested in this kind of project and the decentralized advertising space, I definitely recommend coming and checking it out. It could be a strong competitor to some of the others we have in this space. And being built on ontology is just a big key for me. Uh, I think that's very interesting and it will be one of the first applications on ontology as well. So that's something to look out for. Uh, they talk a little bit more about the economy here. So the advertiser viewing, publishers, users, etc. Uh, some of the user rights, reporting, content, all that sort of thing in the advertising space. Now talking about the blockchain as well here, so the DAD blockchain will be developed on top of their partner Ontology. They talk about some of the benefits of Ontology here, such as the identity verification, the data management, uh, then they move on to talk about the consensus algorithm, etc. The ad tracking and verification, and now the token distribution. So I will cover this for you guys because this is pretty interesting. Uh, there's going to be a total supply of 100 billion, so quite a lot of coins there, that's something to consider. Uh, that will be released in batches though. So half of the supply will be released at the launch of the economy system, and half will be released each year, basically up until 5 years has taken place. So the token will be divisible to the 8th decimal place after it goes up on exchanges, with 10% going to partners, 15% to the core team, 15% to the ecosystem expansion, 25% to institutional partners, and 35% for the community and the user rewards. So as you can see here, this is of vital importance to the blockchain, and this portion will be distributed to communities in various events, uh, reward volunteers, and developers who contribute code. So as far as I'm aware, there's not actually an ICO here, which is good to see, you know, that means they're not trying to get out there and grab a heap of money, and they are trying to develop a sound project here and distribute these coins in an effective way. They do talk about the team in a bit more detail here. So Stephen Wang, um, he's the founder of DAD. He's experienced in the ad industry and he's been involved in various marketing setups and he's a co-founder of Effective Moby as well. Now this is the team here, but I did try to find their LinkedIn profiles and unfortunately there was nothing listed, which was a little bit disappointing. I uh, even tried Google searching and I just couldn't find much, so that is potentially another red flag there, guys. The social media channels and the team just do not seem to be fulfilling my requirements personally. However, they do put in a lot of detail here, so maybe with a bit more search you could find some more detail on this team itself. Uh, there does seem to be quite a lot of experience here, so you know, you got business development, computer engineering, app development, um, digital advertising expert. Uh, obviously, you got your advisors down here, so CEO and co-founder of New Margin Capital, uh, founding manager of Kayan Ventures, chairman of Hagong Intelligent Co. Limited, and some pretty solid investment advisors here. So, you know, it all does look good, but I would like to see some LinkedIn profiles there just to get a bit more verification and a bit more reputability behind the team itself. So you can read more into the team and see some of the specs there as well. Going down into the partners talks about some of the details there. And just to give you guys a quick summary, basically DAD is built on Ontology because it has a capability of high transactions per second, ad transaction processing, user identification, verification, data management and exchange. So the smart contract is used throughout the ad supply chain 
To resolve traffic fraud and trust issues, which are a big problem in the space, the token economy will incentivize advertisers, publishers, and end users by actively participating in ad transactions to improve the ad quality and user experience in order to achieve mutual benefits. The DAD blockchain will empower users with rights and benefits, the privacy protection. Uh, users can participate in ad review and quality assessments, filter ads and report non-comforting ads, and you'll also be receiving more rewards there. So, you know, it's pretty interesting. I feel like it's a strong competitor in the decentralized ad space and being built on ontology is great. Let me know what you guys think. Obviously, there's some positives, some negatives to this. Um, it is still quite early stages, so I'd like to see a little bit more development to make this a more complete project, you know, putting on those social media channels, building up a good following, um, representing your team more efficiently. But overall, I'm interested to see how this one goes. Um, it's not available yet on CoinMarketCap or on exchanges. But if we do have a look in this roadmap here, we can find a little bit of detail. It's not the best laid out roadmap, unfortunately, so it's a little bit hard to perceive the information. As you can see, though, it was sort of started back in 2013 with the global ad system launch and ad promotion. Uh, they've moved on to develop among the top 10 global ad platforms. And moving into 2018, they've had quite a lot of things happening here, you know, global distribution projects and things like that. But as you can see, the majority of this project will be happening in 2019 here with the browser enhancement, the DAD wallet, the identity and data sharing, and the launch of the DAD blockchain core features on their mainnet. So that'll be quite some time away. However, this is sort of the time frame as to when you can expect this thing to really produce and really go forward with those features discussed earlier in the video. Leading on into 2020, you know, they've got the public chain launch, metrics and measurement protocol, um, and just generally building on the project itself. So that's pretty much it for Dad. Let me know your thoughts once again. Um, I'd like to hear what you guys reckon, and if there's any other stronger competitors you think will do better in this space. But that's it for today's review. Please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new here. Also, make sure to click that bell and turn on post notifications. Anyway, guys, thanks so much. I'll see you all in the next video.